Welcome to this video on what is the purpose of a research proposal, which is part of our series on writing the research proposal. The purpose of a research proposal is twofold. Uh, one, it shows your proposal assessor that you understand how research works, that you've conceptualized a durable research project, that you can situate your research within a body of literature on relevant substantive areas, and that you have the knowledge and ability to conduct this research. It also provides you with a map so that it shows you what to do, you've organized how to operationalize the research and outlined a step-by-step -step process to follow. The first step in a research project is to conceptualize the research well. The, the more you've conceptualized the research, the clearer your writing will be. And this means transferring ideas into an operationalizable research project. In conceptualizing your research project, you make decisions about what to focus on, what the core concepts to investigate will be, how the focus and concepts relate to the research literature, and what will be the most appropriate way to collect data. So where will you see research conceptualization in the writing? Well, there, there'll be differences in different disciplines, but most often the conceptualization of research is in the problem statement. So this will appear in the introduction to the research proposal, to the introductions of dissertations, or the introduction sections of publishable papers. So they, the conceptualization usually appears very early on in whatever document, research writing document you're producing. So another key purpose of the research proposal is to outline your main arguments. So for example, that there's an urgent need for this research, that the research problem is relevant, important and in need of being researched, and that the research questions are significant. You might also make a range of sub-arguments, and I'll mention a few here, but you might have others. That the stated knowledge gap is valid, that the methodology selected is most appropriate, so your reader will be asking why this method and not another. And that the conceptual framework, if this is something that you're using, is the most fitting lens with which to view this project. So these are the sub-arguments that you'll be making in the research proposal. So where to begin, and this is often uh, a place where many students find it overwhelming and really difficult. How do I start this process? Research is all about taking this very complex world and simplifying it to make sense of it. So you are taking you know, the real world, which is multi-dimensional, and you're trying to change it into something that is linear. So the research process is always full of chaos, doubt and confusion in the beginning, but as you work through your project, this will become easier and easier. And in the proposal, you're making decisions about what to focus on and what you're not going to focus on and what will fall into the background. So developing the proposal is part of the process of simplifying everything so that you can make sense of it. You're making decisions about what to include and what to exclude. So you go from the research chaos and complexity of the real world and you're trying to simplify by finding a focus, identifying a problem and a purpose. And this is really what the research proposal is about. 
the research proposal is a really important step in the research process because it becomes a blueprint for the research project. Proposals are always plans and the actual research activities may end up being quite different. Everything doesn't always go according to plan, but if you have a really clear idea of what you intend to do, then you can accommodate changes along the way. And the clearer your thinking is about how you want to conduct your research, the clearer your writing will be as you move through the project. Now let's have a look at how we turn a topic into a researchable problem. Now for many students, this is quite a difficult process. And many, many people begin with a general, broad idea of a research topic that they want to research. And refining that topic area requires reading, published research in that field, examining how other research has been conducted, what has been done, what hasn't been done, and talking to others, a supervisor or other students. The challenge is taking this broad topic and turning it into a specific researchable problem. So for example, uh, if a student came to me and said, I, I want to do research on university students and technology. So it's, this is a very broad topic, the university students and technology, huge concepts. So we would begin ref refining the topic and I would say, what interests you about this? And the student might say, I'm interested in students using personal mobile devices while in class. So you can see it's becoming much more focused already on personal mobile devices and in class. Um, and e we could refine it even further. I'm interested in students using mobile devices to assist learning. I'm interested in how mobile devices detract from learning. Or I'm interested in how lecturers feel when they see students using mobile devices in class. So those problems are all related to the broad topic and the decision making you'll go through is deciding which way you want to go, which one of these interests you and do you want to take it further? To really focus a topic, you need to identify a problem that you want to research. And what I would suggest, a process, I would suggest is to write down as many problems as you can think of about your broad topic, and then go through them one by one and work out which ones interest you or which ones you think will be doable projects. So if we have a look at refining this topic into a research problem, we could say international students who are learning a new language find it difficult to process class material unless they can access translators on their mobile devices. So here we are now coming down to a specific problem. We're looking at a specific cohort of students and the issue is they need those mobile dev devices in class in order to learn. Uh, since the use of mobile devices in class diverts attention, student, student performance is affected. That's not quite refined as a problem, but it's getting there. Lecturers feel disengaged when they see students on their mobile devices in class. So you can see that by, de by developing the research problem and focusing on the research problem, the topic moves from this very broad kind of unfocused area to something much more specific. Identifying the research problem is one of the most difficult parts of the research conceptualization process. And this is because problems are always complex and interlinked, and lots of them are really interesting. So you might find yourself moving from one to the other. The idea is to simplify so that you can make decisions about what you want to research. And then later on, you can bring complexity in back again. 
So the research proposal is part of this process of simplifying. So a research proposal serve a purpose both for you and your proposal assessor. And they show you how you have conceptualized this research. Conceptualization means taking all these ideas you have and putting them into some kind of practice, operationalizing them. Research proposals also contain the key arguments and sub-arguments that will be made in the research. And the first place to start is to go from a broad topic to a researchable problem. And you do this by reading and talking and then working with your research topic until it becomes a specific problem. Please have a look at our videos on conceptualizing research where we go through developing problem purpose statements in much more detail. We've provided a number of references for you here. If you find you would like to read further, then just stop the video or pause the video and have a look at these references. Thank you very much for watching this video on the purpose of the research proposal, which is part of our series on writing the research proposal.